Yeah, not today. It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Fire Island and it's a bottle of their Buffalo. It's a robust amber ale coming in at 5% ABV. It's a gluten-free beer. Uh, the bottle is a 330ml bottle with a black bottle cap. Uh, they're owned and released by Evan Evans Brewery down in Landilo in West Wales. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. A nice amber colour, as they've described it. I don't think the um, bottle condition their beers, uh, but just looking at the beer in the glass, it's been pretty tidy. Pretty nice. Uh, one finger white, slightly off white head, I'd say, very slightly. I mean, to the camera, it's probably white. Uh, good levels of carbonation. It looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's get the aroma. Now they know how to brew a beer down there, they really do. Loads and loads of history involved in what goes into this, this beer. This, this brewery, I mean the, the links and the hist history to this brewery goes back well over 250 years now and it's... Um, You can tell that with the quality of the beer. You got a real slight roastiness from the malt in this. A real kind of biscuity kind of breadiness coming through. And nice and hoppy, a nice balance to it. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, very nice. quite a lot happening. Um, I'm picking up, I'm definitely picking up a little undertone of, of licorice coming through. The beer is a nice level of carbonation that pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's quite nutty, it's quite biscuity. And then there's a nice Maybe something like Simcoe on the back end is, is very kind of orange marmalade. Yeah, like marmalade on rye, marmalade on toast. And now, now I've had a little bit of the beer, I can... I can rock the beer back and forth and I can show you the, you know, this is a little bit of the history of the brewery. Um, always told by an old brewer, um, I went down to Wells and Young's Brewery when I first started the channel 10 years ago. First company to get me out of the kitchen, they said come down to Bedfordshire in England, um, come and meet Jim Robinson. I had a great time, great time. And he told me, I always remember this, I always remember this, Jim Robinson, head brewer of Wells and Young's, pulled me to one side. We were filming, of course. And he told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. And that really has stuck in my mind after, you know, all these years. The smaller the bubble, the better the beer. Well, look at the, look at the quality of this beer. Look at the the way that beer is behaving in the glass. A really well behaved beer.
and it's really nicely balanced between that kind of little bit of sweetness from the malt and the, the lovely kind of hoppy flavours on the back end. I want to get the ingredients because um, I've always been a little bit unsure on gluten-free stuff. Um, reason being, well, I'm not gluten intolerant, so without being ignorant, um, I don't know too much about it. I know it's... Um, Oh, it's something, something, um, it, it, it upsets people's insides. Um, some people just can't handle the, the, the gluten. So the ingredients are water, malted barley, wheat, hops and yeast. And their description of the beer is combining brewing excellence and quality ingredients. Fire Island is all about brewery fresh, delicious beer. Um, Buffalo is a full body dark amber ale with a rewarding rich malt and tropical fruit aroma. It can be enjoyed by celiacs, that's it, celiacs, that's the one, and those intolerant to gluten as well as vegans. So they must be, they're not using the Isinglass then in the, in the beer, they're not using the fish eyes to um, clear the beer, they're using, they're using seaweed. Um, that's good stuff, it, it, it's good stuff. I want to tell you a little bit about the history of the brewery. Um, Evan Evans Brewery, right, the, it's quite a complicated one, but I'm going to whack it all in in a nutshell, because some of you would be really surprised by this. Um, Buckley's Brewery goes right back, uh, I mentioned earlier, 250 years of family brewing down there. Um, so, they're brewing now as Evan Evans Brewery, but it started over 250 years ago with with. Buckley's Brewery. Um, Buckley's was brought up, brought up by Brains in the, in the late 1990s. Um, they went on to open another brewery called Thomas Watkins. Some of you probably most definitely have heard of Buckley's Brewery or the Rev James Beer. Thomas Watkins. Um, they make the Kuru Kuru Half really good beers. Now they've moved on. They've moved on again, and they're based in Landilo, and they're they're part of the Evan Evans Brewing Company, and they're making so the Fire Island series are all gluten free beers, and they've also got a range of Evan Evans beer. I think my favourite of the of the range is, is Warrior. Um, I'm a massive fan of, of of their Warrior. Whenever I see it in a in a country pub. I'll, I'll go there and drink that beer. It's, it's a pretty decent, very, very solid, kind of rich, malty, traditional style ale. I still like that um, style of beer. But they know, going back to it, they really know how to brew. They really know how to brew. They've been doing it for over 200, 250 years. Um, I think they're going to go from strength to strength. You can, you can pick up their beers online. Uh, if you put in Evan, Evan Evans Brewery into Google, and their website will come up and you can order their beers uh, online and it'll get delivered to you probably, it's either the next day or within a couple of days, the beer will be packaged up and sent to you. Uh, it's worth a shot, a lot of it is really, really good beer. I'm ready to rate this. It's a really nice red ale, they know what they're doing, they really know what they're doing. Um, I like this enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!